Good morning. <clears throat> Today I'm going to do a landscape. Uh, first of all, excuse my unkempt hair. Part of my process is that I like to work first thing in the morning before I take my shower. It's funny that I'm showing myself here on video to the world because I wouldn't go out in public looking like this, so please look past it. Uh, I'm going to do a landscape, as I mentioned. Um, I'm going to do it in pieces. I'm going to like do a bit of a process and show it to you and then work and then do another bit of the process and work. Um, I'm not showing you the image because the image is in my camera and I'm going to be working from my camera, which I'm using to film right now. So uh, I'll show you the process step by step and uh, hope you'll enjoy and take care. Now I've already set up my palette. It's all laid out here. So I'm ready to go. I don't always do this, but sometimes I like to put a light wash on my canvas. Uh, the reason you do this is because if you don't paint thick enough at times, the white canvas will peek through. But if you put a wash on that, white canvas is less apt to be peeking through the paint at the, uh, during the finish process. So here's step one, just a wash. And let me continue. Okay, here's an important thing I forgot to add. I'm using the foreground from one photograph and the sky from another photograph. So I'm kind of going back and forth between two photographs of my camera. Uh, here I've kind of mapped that out. I've blotted it out. I'm gonna have a foreground here with some trees and some, some grasses, a lake, some mountains in the distance, and my focal point is really going to be the sky. That's going to be lots of color and drama in the sky with reflections in the water. So you always need to think about what's your focal point. What do you want the viewer to, to, to what do you want their eye to, to, to zoom in at? Uh, in this case, I'm hoping it's going to be the sky. So let's see what happens. At this stage, I've put in some of my darker values. One thing I've got to add is that I'm doing a little inventing. I'm not usually one to invent a scene, but um, of the two images I'm using, <clears throat> the first image of the landscape has the sunlight coming from this direction. And the second image I'm using, the sunlight is coming from the far distance. So the light changes. So on my first image, I don't want my, my lights to, to be hitting the trees this way. I want my light to be hitting the trees this way. And um, so, uh, as you can see, I've got some darker values in the sky, but there's gonna be lots of purples and pinks. And again, that's gonna be, hopefully, the main focus of this painting with some reflections in the water. Uh, by the way, the, the scene, the landscape part of this is the lower end of Lake Oak Ridge, where I live. <clears throat> And uh, I live in North Macedonia, but the hills, the hills in the distance here, that's actually Albania, because Lake Okrid sits on the border of North Macedonia and Albania. So let me continue on to the next step and I'll, sh I'll clue you in when I get there. Now here's one more stage where nearly all of the canvas is blotted in. Um, I haven't blotted in uh, the lights in the sky, but you can see I've got these cloud formations going on with the clouds reflecting in the lake. Um, the grass is in the foreground, which I'm going to keep kind of dark because it's the end of day. And I don't want that to be the focal point. I want this to be the focal point, the light coming through. And I haven't really put the light in yet. So hopefully and hopefully successfully, you'll see that at the next stage. And here's the next stage with a little more lights put in in the sky. I still need to work on uh, some lights in the trees here, but not too light because there's too, not a lot of light hitting the trees. And then the grasses need to be worked a little bit more and some even more lighter highlights uh, in the sky. Okay, here is the finished piece.